Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, we're back in my ship world and this ship is done, which is cool. First off, I'll show you that ship and then there's going to be, there's one over there, but it hasn't fully rendered in, but there is one, there is. I'll show you this ship first, then that ship, and then something that I've been working on, and then a new TARDIS. First off, you might realize I added the yellow line, which I think makes the ships look better. First off, let's start with this ship. It's another, like, screw steamer. This can be named um, SS Oceanic 3. But anyways, it has, let's start with uh, D-Deck. To... It has the same, I'm not going to like show the boiler rooms of this ship, it's that this ship's boiler rooms are literally exactly the same as that one. They're literally exactly the same, nothing different. But anyways, let's start with the this area first. Okay, so here we have the third class dining room. It's two decks tall, one, two, and it goes from A deck, B deck, C deck, and B deck. So which is that's cool. It also has some funnel access, which is also cool. Anyways, it's, if we go down, if we go here, oh wait, we just entered the room, entered it. Whoops. Anyways, we have some cabins over here, which is cool. Actually, are they there? Oh wait, they were there. We have some cabins, which is cool. They're exactly the same. But quickly, let me just show you them. Anyways, the cabins are exactly the same, which is cool, as you can tell, really just the same, nothing different, which, is, which I guess makes them unique in a way, which I just, I just find it pretty easy to do them, but really, it's really fun to make these ships, as well as make TARDISes and other stuff, but anyways, the cabins are exactly the same, except the third class cabins, which are narrow again and also this is the grand staircase if you were wondering with the unique dome with a cool piano and jukebox and this actually has every single disc in the game even the creepy one here the ooga booga one anyways over here we have oh wait this is the grand staircase but you might realize that the boats are now the davit boats which you, which i like but anyways, over here we have a little cafe, whoops, with a dome, and over here we have a dome which leads into the dining room. It's exactly the same on that ship, but there's one difference. It's round at the at A deck and B deck, but not round at the bottom, which is okay, I guess, maybe. But also, this is the dummy funnel with the, the Marconi room at the bottom. And on the top, we have the crew bedroom, which is cool, I guess, maybe. But anyways, uh, a theater here. Let me just get inside the ship. A theater here with a curtain, and behind that is where the actors would go off stage but they would prepare themselves and do other stuff I, I don't know oh, but over here we have a crew sleeping area and the bridge at the front exactly the same as that on that ship uh, let me um, actually I think that's all oh wait I forgot Oh, swimming pool. Now I remember. Whoops. The swimming pool is based off the Imperator class, which I think was really a nice German ship class. My favourite had to be Armus Majestic, aka the SS Bismarck. This is a smoking room, the first class one. And that's really all for the ship except for the boiler room. But I'm not going to show you the boiler room. It's because it's it's literally exactly the same, but actually, why not? But anyways, if you're wondering where the boiler room is at slash the cargo hold, 
we need to go all the way at the front of the ship, go in here, and go down here, we have the cargo hold, which is exactly the same as the previous ship. And the whole layout of the compartments and the boilers are, are exactly the same. same, which is cool, I guess. But really, I'm not going to show the boiler room. It's because it's really just exactly the same. Same exact length. But okay. I'll Okay. No. But anyways, aside from the boiler room, this is really all the ship. That that's all from this ship. I have to say it's a really good one. I even added them. Don't question why I added them. I just think they look nice. But anyways, I added a cool little TARDIS right down there. And also you might realise the yellow band. And also this goes for every single ship that I built, which is cool. Also, is a new another ship. This is the last sister ship of that ship. The first difference I can tell is the bridge. It's a much more browner colour. With this is based off the S old German ships, which is cool. And the Marconi rooms down below, by the way. Also, <clears throat> another difference you might realise is that the grand staircase looks more like RMS Aquitania's grand staircase. And also, the walls are all in the Art Deco style. Another thing, real quick, is that the domes are based off the Lusitania and Mauritania, which is cool. I really like them. But anyways, let's go down, real quick. This is the purse's office. Purse's office. This without stick right there. And over here we have cabins, the first class ones. They're all in the Art Deco style, if you're wondering. First... The second is exactly the same, but the third has a bigger difference now. Unlike the other ship where they were pretty small and now they're much more smaller. Imagine just being in here, it would just feel very uncomfortable. Oh wait, I remember, they're exactly the same. But another thing that you might realise is that I expanded the third class area to the whole length of the whole ship, which I think looks nice. And also, because of that, we can go to the front of the ship, and we have these cool areas where you can, like, stand around, say hi and stuff. And also, the cargo hold has a difference. It's much more narrower with the Art Deco walls, which I think looks cool. 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 Anyways, if we go into here, if we, like, go into here... We have the third class dining room. This is based off Lusitania's dining room, by the way. I think this is also in like. That ship over there. I meant not that ship, the ship behind it. Let me just quickly show you it real quick. Because I forgot to show it to you guys. Anyways, over here we have the third class dining room on this ship. It's based off Lusitania's, like I said. Another difference in the, the ship here from well, this ship is that if we go to where the swimming pool would be, also has the damp lifeboats, lifeboats. It also has its swimming pool replaced with the a Armus Aquitania inspired dining room, which is really cool. I have to say, it looks really nice. Really like it and oh wait I forgot something if we go down right down here to the a deck level we have a cafe on each side one here and if we go to the other side another one over here which is cool it's also in the you know really cool star another sleeping area with the brown really cool brown walls the aft brand staircase with the, it's exactly the same like the previous ship only goes down from boat deck to a deck to b deck and another difference and another difference is right over here 
Oh, I forgot something. You know, like the back thing right here that is supposed to be here with the telegraphs? It's not here. How could I forget that? That is so silly of me. Sorry about that. But anyways, oops. But anyways, if we enter here in the dining room, it now goes down four decks. Look, with a massive organ here, which I think looks very cool. And that's all for this ship. And also the smoking rooms are also the same, just with the darker walls. That's really all for this ship. Now, also one other quick thing. The length of the dining room has been increased too, which I like. But anyways, over here we have the first ocean liner that I'm working on. It's not finished yet, but it's very large in size and is larger than any of these other ships. Literally in size, length and height. But anyways, let's enter the first class entrance right on the side, right here. Anyways, if we enter here, we'll enter the Armus Valiant dining room slash lounge and you might recognize that name and you might be like wait a minute i remember that name is it from that gmod map named armor's valiant and you'll be right because this is named after the armor's valiant a gary's mod map which i liked and also the lounge bit is that you can like chill here we have a honor and glory clock over there but when it's used as a dining room it's basically like at the time of when people would eat. Also we have the really cool windows. And over here we have the purses office. And also this is the area that passengers would wait for like their ticket to be stamped here. Like that you would go here and stamp and the person here would stamp the ticket that you would hold. Anyways over here we have the second bit of the Armist Valiant lounge slash dining room with red walls and green carpet. It's actually based off the map itself with the red walls and green carpet which I loved. Anyways, over here, in this area, we have the Art Deco styled swimming pool with the dark walls and the really cool swimming pool with the cool lights in it. This is that, and also a quick thing, this shape of the windows is kind of similar to the Armus Olympic with this all being like these rectangle, -er, rectangle windows, but at the bottom it has like these up rectangle styled windows but then the full rectangle styled windows at right there, which I liked. Anyways, if we go past the swimming pool, we'll enter the third and... Before we enter the grand staircase, let me just show you this real quick. The third and second class staircase, which is cool. Um, This has a cool clock of its own. It, it's not finished yet. It doesn't go all the way down to the bowels of the ship, unlike the main grand staircase which I'll show you later but over here we have the Armist Tyrannic cafe slash dining room which I like and also if you're wondering what's above here I'll show you right now if we close this door right over here and if we go through this other door and go all the way up like to this deck we'll find out this deck overviews the Armist Tyrannic Cafe and dining room. This is actually the first part, and below that's the second part. And we have warning signs just saying, Do not stand on the dome. Which is basically, if you were that dumb and, and basically for anyone to like look at. So, and the signs are up here, so basically that if you like try and walk onto the dome, you will look at that and realize, Oh, wait, I should probably not walk on this which will give you the idea of not doing that, which is good. Anyways, let's leave that room. And quickly, over here, we have the top area of the second and third class staircase, which is cool. But up above, we have the top area of the boat deck. But before that, let's go all the way along here. Let, which will be like over here right down here which is cool if we go back here through the Armist Valiant lounge slash dining room and if we go all the way up the grand staircase has a really cool design yep it has been changed unlike 
let's say the 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 other ship that I showed you, like I forgot how long it was, but that previous ship before, well, you might realize that I changed the design a lot. First off, it you can now look down here properly here, and that ship also there's really cool carpets on like every dining room if you're wondering anyways the we have a massive pipe organ in the middle with a clock there and your own glory clock right behind me right behind us but anyways if we go through here we have the elevator waiting room these elevators go all the way down into the ship and and also back on like uh, B deck you could see like one of these elevators through the Amish Valiant slash lounge slash dining room and also this is the elevator waiting lobby with elevators with chairs inside I don't understand what the purpose of those chairs were but I'm guessing if like it took 1 billion hours to get from like this deck to the to E deck at the bottom and also quick fact this is the first ship that I made which goes all the way down to E deck which is very cool and it's very unique to this ship also if we go forward we have a cool cafe which is really cool or dining room I'm not sure what to call it yet and over here we have a crew sleeping area which is cool and over here we have another cafe or dining room I really don't know what to call these little areas but right here we have the RMS the Celtic cafe slash shop. You might realize the name Celtic, yep, is from the Big Four liners. I really like the Big Four, so I decided to reference it with the name. And if you're wondering what the cafe bit is, it's that area, but the shop bit is this. And if you wanted to buy some nice clothing, you would walk here, but no one's there yet. And if you wanted to buy some nice jewelry, you could, but sadly no one's here yet. And if you wanted to talk to someone, sadly, no one's here yet. I might add villages here because it feels very eerie with no one here. It just feels very lonely, which I just realised. Anyways, another crew sleeping area here with the most uncomfortable way of getting around this. Like you could burn yourself if you accidentally touch that and burn yourself, which would hurt. I'm not sure how many heat the inner side of the funnels on titanic were but they probably were very hot extremely uncomfortably hot to the touch anyways over here we have the veranda calf with every flower and also quick thing this is actually every flower in minecraft and over here we have the dead with a rose which is cool and also quick fact if we go underneath we'll actually be in the there we are. We're in the second and third class dining. I mean, <laughs> second and third class staircase. Because this was a really cool idea to cover up the light from this. So, which work? Which works? And I'm really surprised I could be able to get every single file flower in here, which is amazing. I really thought I couldn't do it, but I did, which is amazing. Also, a quick thing. If we add to the bridge, also, we have some rafts up there, I'll show you that later, but in the bridge, the, let, the let's say, the phonographs have been changed to look much more better, that's based off Chronodaf's design, where he like, used grindstones, which I think looked really good, I know they decided to do that, and if you're wondering what's above it, it's string, yep, strings holding a grindstone, pretty weird. But that's a nice bridge wing of the bow, which I think looks nice. Also, if you're wondering where the mast is, it's not here yet. It doesn't exist, but later it will exist. But anyways, if we go up here, we'll enter the dummy funnel of the ship, which is cool. Over here, we have crew sleeping areas and a Marconi room, like the RMB Georgic and Britannic. Also, a quick thing, this also has an enclosed bow, like the MB Georgic and Britannic, which I like. Real quick, let me just do one quick thing real quick. And let me just show you some other quick stuff real quick. Um, let me show you the cabins real quick because they're cool. Anyways, the cabins are very different to the other ship's cabins. 
they are much more larger and spacious, which I like, which I very much love, which I think was a really good idea. Anyways, if we exit back onto the promenade of let a B deck and go to the front, we have a observation deck, mini observation area of the bow. It may be small, but I like it. And that's really all. But one last area is the third and third class areas, which is cool. The third class entrance and second. The third and second class dining room. And that's all, but well, one quick thing. If we go up and go through here, we can go to the bow and the stern. So let's go over here real quick and we'll enter the enclosed stern of the ship which is cool, which I like. And if we go back, we'll enter the enclosed bow of the ship, which I also like. I really love that. The idea of an enclosed bow and stern. Really smart idea. Like so you can like shelter the passengers. Which and that's really all for this ship. And um and that's all for this ship. Anyways this is the end of the video guys oh wait I forgot one last thing to show you guys let me just do it real quick let me do a quick jump oh wait I just realized something um for the next video I'm going to show you a new TARDIS that I built but anyways this is the end of the video guys bye and have a nice day bye